Hi everyone. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Cho from the Toronto Concussion Clinic and today I'm going to show you another exercise that some of our patients do and they find helpful. Um, what we're doing with this exercise is called an eye head eye exercise is we're teaching people to coordinate their eye movement and their head movement to work towards gaze stabilization for those people who have issues with that and it also helps uh, create awareness of, of spatial, um, spatial things, spatial space. Uh, distances. So, um, so what you would do is you would start off by getting like a post-it note or something like that and just putting a Z or a Z on it and then you, on this one you put an X on it over here and you want to stand where you know you're looking directly at one so your nose is lined up with one and you want to have them askew a bit and um, then I can still see that in my peripheral vision so I'm just like bringing my eyes out to that now, but I'm keeping my head there. So your eyes have to move first. And then I'm moving my eyes to the X, and then my head follows to the X. And then my eyes go to the Z, and then my head follows to the Z. And then my eyes follow to the X, and my head follows, and so on. So it's a pretty simple exercise, but for a lot of people that have a lot of visual issues, it, they find it really kind of grounding and stabilizing and it helps kind of organize things for more complex therapy that that comes your way as you progress. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, of course, you know, whenever you're doing these exercises, you can always make them a bit more challenging by doing some cognitive drills at the same time, like counting backwards by seven or standing on foam or um, something like that to just challenge yourself a bit more but when you first do it you just want to get a hang of it and you don't want to do too many things at once just stick to that and just do it mindfully so you, you really feel that you can do it uh, really intentionally and you notice all these little things about it so um, I hope that's helpful uh, stay tuned we'll come out with another video for you to help you on your road to recovery Take care.